Hey there, this is K4A Knowledge for All Educational Videos and Tutorials. In today's video we are going to try to learn Game Maker drag and draw block which is called Get Path Follow Speed. So in previous video we have extracted position along path but in this video we are going to try to extract information about the speed of the object instance which is following the path which we have created before. Again, uh, for this example it will be very very simple but you should just uh, try to learn the basics and the abstraction of it and then use it for your ideas and games. So for example uh, just try to uh, put that into context of tower defense game towers versus monsters template which we were explaining before so those monsters those zombies and frankensteins they have a uh, speed so in your game you want to know that information anytime at the while the game is running maybe because you want to change it somehow so for example this frankenstein guy he can be uh, he can have a slower speed at the start and then at some time when a player hits him five times he becomes more angry he becomes more aggressive so he is now faster so we know we have to know what his speed is in that exact moment and then speed him up same with uh, the position which we have explained before so that could be example of where to use it so let's see how to use it or how to define it with blocks uh, similar to previous video where we have defined position or to be more precise get position let's try to find this guy here again it's in the paths blocks and we have those open here they are below the room group of blocks and above the timelines group of blocks and we need one which says get path follow speed so not set but get get path follow speed it's very similar to this get position along path it has some kind of check mark so don't confuse them this one has three arrows like uh, it, it um, symbolizes speed uh, get path follow speed get the speed of the instance following a path click and drag it here again same principle and that's why i'm explaining uh, some of those one by one in a row because they are very similar and the uh, whole idea behind them is similar again uh, game maker says okay what do you want to get what do you want me to give you give me speed by which this guy zombie follows the path okay and do what then do with that information put it into some kind of variable which i will call in my case case um, path uh, underscore uh, speed uh, underscore zombie okay so uh, again i have extracted some kind of information and i have put that information in variable that along, uh, alone doesn't do anything i have to use that variable now and show it on the screen it is in in my variable but again if you don't say what to do with that information to game maker or any other game engine he doesn't know so i want to draw that value i can copy paste this guy here but instead of uh, caption position I will change that to caption uh, speed okay and instead of variable zombie path position zombie I want to show this guy here path speed zombie now so copy paste it here okay and instead of showing that above my head I want to show it below my zombie and I want that to be with 70 pixels below him because again my zombie I think uh, sprite for my zombie has 
its uh, pivot point in top left, yeah, you can see here, it's here instead of middle center, so that's what is making this problem, and this is again very, very normal behavior when you create games, you have to change all of those and um, go step by step back and uh, forth. Okay, just let me let me uh, let me see what I have done now. Okay, I am extracting position and drawing that. I'm extracting speed. I'm drawing that, and again, this draw event, this whole event here, he is. Um, it is uh, done uh, frame by frame uh, many times in seconds, 30 to 60 times per second. So this is very heavy on game engine in terms of you don't want to go crazy here with code uh, you want to use it for testing and draw anything only when you need it in game uh, not heavy code not complex code uh, here we are using using it just for testing but just to be aware it works as this step event under same uh, principles many times per second so actually it likes it uh, uh, render engines of game engine it draws uh, on your screen same thing like 60 times per second which is crazy and at the same time you can have step event doing some code and that is only one object one instance you can have so many of those and that is why game uh, games are crashing okay uh, let's hope our game will not crash uh, great so I have speed which is 3 it doesn't change this, we will change it maybe later, and I have position, yeah, so uh, let me just uh, try to make him go, uh, instead of stop, let me go to reverse, just to make it a little bit more fun, and maybe uh, put it into perspective of uh, side by side, so you can see it yeah like this so um you can see now the position is very very precise i can see it in every second speed doesn't change uh, again that is because of my example my game for your game if you have like enemy which changes the speed or npc or particle or whatever you are using to follow the line the path you can change it but the whole idea is here to just show that information, get that information, extract it. And again, it goes from 0 to 1, and here it's funny that the speed goes in reverse, it goes to minus 3. So you have to be aware of those quirks, uh, of those uh, uh, things, which are, again, very, very specific to very specific game engines. This uh, kind of uh, behavior is not the uh, same in GameMaker as in Unity, as in Godot, as in Unreal so uh, some kind sometimes you will make some kind of mistakes just because uh, you think the speed on your screen in reverse in your game will be three when the guy goes back but actually it's minus it's minus three and things like that it goes from zero to one uh, it's also uh, not in x and y coordinates of your screen but zero to one zero zero like zero percent one like 100 percent so those are very very specific things and that is why for example people who uh, use one engine uh, and use it a lot or for a very long time uh, to develop some game uh, they are not um, stay in it they're not very uh, uh, very uh, easily transferred to to some other just because of that uh, they need some kind of feature or just because they love or uh, some uh, engine no it's it's because you have uh, invested so much time to learn it to create something in it and it's very specific it's not like you can transfer one uh, on on those details or one type of knowledge into another but on basics it's it's more or less the same uh, that was for this uh nine minutes ten minutes okay that was for this example we now have the speed and um, the speed and position we have learned that how to extract those information i want to try to fix my 
a guy movement zombie movement on the screen first of all and i think yeah i think i have an idea i'm not sure it will work so if you don't have time don't watch it maybe this won't work but let me uh, try to do it so um zombie when it starts i want him to start with path enemy with the speed of three and on the end to let's say stop for the start same when um okay that was when the, my zombie starts and go from absolute through start okay go from this position as a start that's an absolute start that's cool that will work and it will stop when uh, he reaches the end that's what we have done before and that worked okay that's cool another thing which we have coded is when i left click on him stop following the path that also worked but the problem was when i right click the guy here the zombie instead of him just continuing following the path which was original he creates new one and goes up and creates uh, starts uh, starts moving along new one uh, that's actually some kind of problem which i think i know why it happened but it didn't happen in my other game maker test i will show that if i don't solve it here uh, i think it um, started here because i have copy pasted this guy here i think i did that i'll check my video i have right clicked copy then go right pressed pasted and somehow it remembered and uh, created some kind of like metadata for this guy so creates he creates new path instead of uh, following the exist existing one okay so instead of copy pasting this guy i will just create it from the scratch start following the path path enemy with the speed of three and i don't want him to go from absolute i think this may work or maybe i need to uh, delete the whole event stop no it doesn't work so let me <coughs> let me delete uh, because this this works which is very funny in other um, example i have uh, made in uh, another game maker file but here i have a problem okay so this is a final uh, final uh try if it doesn't work uh yeah it's the same path i don't see the reason okay uh, yeah let me try it this way um, and hope it will work no still have the problem so i have somehow to resolve that one the whole idea here is for example when i did it here with this guy yeah it's it's a slower but you can see how it doesn't go or maybe it does let me uh-huh okay so i will try to leave him to make him um now yeah he does create so it uh, it is actually a normal so we have to solve that i'm i owe you that one anyway 15 minutes uh see you in the next video thanks for watching and uh, bye for now